Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 Permadeath series. So here we go. Uh, as you saw last time, I rolled a Dark Elf Rogue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a male Rogue. Um, actually, you know what, we'll, we'll go ahead and go female this time. And I'm not even going to name him Toter. I'm going to name him something else, I guess. Um, to, to, to Totora, <laughs> or we can name a female Toter, I guess, because it still means, um, dead. I mean, what, what does it matter if it's a female or a male? And, um, so the points are going to be a little bit different here. Probably going to put as much as I can into strength, say, 80, ugh, um, I guess we should go ahead and go to 80, uh, 75 here, 80 there, it's still going to be bad, I mean, this is going to be nothing like it was for the, um, for the dwarf, the dwarf had the strength and the health. So it's going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to just go agnostic because that's what it's on. Normally as a dark elf, I would care that it was, uh, actually I care. It doesn't even matter. So, um, we'll go ahead and do toter and <laughs> there we go. And, uh, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Um, we are now uh, in game next to the Priest of Discord. Of course, we're going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, come to the halls of the Ebon Mask. Erolorn Jacques is, uh, has, or it's Jax, I guess, how you would say that, uh, has a job that requires your special talents. Take this to note to him. Okay, let's go ahead and. Head that way. So we're going to go to the third gate, which is um, near where the necromancers are, where you would actually craft Teradal armor, things like that. Kind of wish I could get to the point where I could make um, armor, <laughs> make Teradal. That would be kind of awesome, but that would also require getting help from someone who could um imbue the bricks and then also have someone who would imbue the sapphires of course you'd have to get to the point where you had the money to do that i think banded would be perfectly fine right now uh one of the quests that i know that i'm going to do here is i'm going to do the orc pick quest which isn't a great quest but i'm going to see if i can get that as well as um, the wine quest. The wine quest can take you to three or four easily on its own. And I believe red wine is really cheap. We can actually go check while we're in this area. So um, there should be several rogue masters in this area. This is the temple, by the way, for the rogues. And if we go into here... This is where I always get my drink because of the fact that I think this is it. Yeah, because I always like to carry around Nariac Nectar. I feel that it's role playing my my class race. Uh, so red wine is six silver. That is not bad at all. I can definitely swing that if I can get stacks of that. Turn that in. I should be able to get at least some help. In leveling though I would have to um, be able to kill things and I think that's one of the hardest parts right now is just going to be being able to kill something so that I can get experience so I can loot whatever it has and sell it so I remember that in here is where this guy is 
I've been to this guild before just looking around and I remember a friend having to turn his note in here. Alright, so we have our note. We have our dagger. There's probably some quests in here that I can pick up. Let me go ahead and come into here, see if um, I can hail. Actually, I can go ahead and get since heading. Here we go. Train that. I always like to train it. I know that it doesn't help me with very much, but you can get sense heading up pretty fast. So I have sneak. I'm going to go ahead and put a point into that. So I'm going to go ahead and get out to the next, uh, to the killing field, and we will see if we can live past level one or live to the point where we can start doing the wine quest. Anyway, guys, I'll see you out there. Okay, so here we are out in the wide open. Uh, let's try not to die. <laughs> that is an important thing. Let's see, a moss snake, you're even. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, snapped it. Snapped it with one hit. There we go. There we go. Killing something. It's our first kill, guys. Ah. Uh, yay. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing but experience. All right. We need... Okay, so what we need to do is we just need to get anything that we can that is... Uh, that has monetary value that we can kill. That right there looks like a... Oh, yeah, a tree snake. Something that I cannot kill. So, got to stay away from that. Try to get uh, my skeletons, but skeletons could be bad as well. A lot of, I wonder if the moss snakes are aggro. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Come on, guy. Come on, lady. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit it. Gotta... I got a wolf thing. Oh, that's what I need to kill right there is a skeleton. This thing has full health. Okay, I hit it finally. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. No, no. I'm going to die. Unless that poison isn't very much, I'm going to probably end up dying from the poison. Note to self. Don't attack poisonous things. Number two. Don't attack poisonous things. I'm going to sit. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill me. I can't see where the damage is from that poison. It's feeble poison. Work runner. Okay. All right, so I need to get, um, come on, poison, run your course. Pretty much while that poison's on, I can't heal. Um, did that person just die out there? Death Knight. All right, um, we're good. Let's, let's go. Kill a thing or two. Kind of wish I had gotten that. Um, wish I had gotten that um, skeleton instead. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Okay, there's a skeleton. Oh, there's there's the skeleton I want to kill. 
Um, I think they're gonna be aggro though, so I well I go ahead and yeah. Wow, I'm barely even hitting it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I need that spear. Oh my goodness. It's destroying me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Four. Two. That's a better tunic. might sell it though no for a fact this is gonna be better it's five damage 38 delay that's much better I can tarnish it I can turn it into a tarnish spear I should probably sit for a second maybe look around okay there's a golem over there helping people out hey decay oh you just automatically attack people it's not good. Oh, look at that. Look at that damage there. That's what I needed. Oh yeah. Now we got it. Now it's now we're rolling. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we just need to stick with skeletons. Okay, there's a there's one right there. What I like to do is I like to put the spear in the middle of them. I've noticed that if you turn different ways, this you will actually, I don't know if this is a thing or if it's just pure luck that you hit something. Okay, I'm at 50. Come on. Oh no. Okay, that one's dead. I'm gonna run. Loot, loot. Loot, loot, faster, running. All right. When I, my health is going to tick up as I run, so I'm going to probably turn around at the at this log over here and uh, try to get some hits on it. If if the hits don't work, oh, someone else. Oh, no, 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 nobody else killed it. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna go. At, oh, I'm too low in health. I I can't just try to turn around and kill it. All right. By the way, um, like the half. Well, I think the half lane actually starts out with 50, 50 sneaks, fifty hide, where the dark elves start out with fifty hide. So. At least I, I have that. I need to go ahead and create those buttons and my macro. I always try to have a macro for it. So sneak, hide, sense heading. Just throw sense heading down there. Then I'm gonna just make a macro. SH. Do ability one, do ability two. That, that is the slots that I put them in. Yep, accept. And I'll go ahead and put this on number two. Put sneak and hide up here. And this way I can actually see whenever they become available again instead of having the guess I get I guess that is and then um, you can see uh, you are quiet as a cat stalking their prey so my snake and hide are actually on snake is at level two that's awesome so this is okay so you can strafe it looks like that is uh, helpful but uh, yeah so anyway, I'm, I'm just going to keep pressing that whenever it comes back up. And then we'll go ahead and unpress it so that we can uh, go ahead and walk like normal. Back to killing the skeletons. And uh, that shirt 
that I got while um, the shirt that I got from my trainer is nice. I'd rather sell that, um, that shirt that I got off of a skeleton so that I can make the money to be able to buy the, um, the red wine to do that quest. And I should be able to get level 2 or 3 pretty fast. That is what I'm thinking at least. One thing about coming over to this side of this mountain is you just have to watch out because there's going to be bears and wolves and everything else. Um, try to just find the skeletons and you should be pretty fine. Also, don't fall off of this hill. That would be a bad thing. Try to aggro the mob and bring them down. I've always found that fighting on flat ground is the best. So I'm going to bring them over to here. It might end up getting two on me. And he has a weapon. If that's a short sword, that would probably be the better weapon for me to have. What the heck was that? Um, thank you, but I can't. I can't lift that. That sucks. <laughs> thank you for helping me, but I can't take that kind of buff. It's against the rules of the guild. There we go. Looks like we got this one. If that's a short sword, that would be amazing. It's a bastard sword. Um, we can actually buy wine now. Let's go ahead and do that. One thing that's that's kind of bad about this area is that there is no bone chip quest that I know of. There is one in Freeport though. Um, could probably I think it's in the aqueducts, is it not? That is a question that you can't answer for me right now. Um, but let me go ahead and get red wine. We'll do the red wine quest. Probably won't even have to sell the shirt, so that's going to be awesome. Okay, so I sold my items that I ended up looting, of course, except for the spear, because the spear is going to be more important to me. I also still need to go to the blacksmith, and I think I have enough to get a sharpening stone. If I do, that would be fantastic. This is a new corpse. I don't remember this corpse being here. Well, um, you know, you shouldn't be coming into our lands. Just saying. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do as much as I can with the amount of wine that I was able to get. I don't know if it's per, uh, one wine or if it's four wine. I think you only hand in one wine per. And I think you don't get the full reward if you turn in four. So we're going to follow the quest exactly. And hopefully that will make it be good. So here is who we need to talk to. It is uh, Lokar to bathe. <laughs> bathe, I guess you would say. So we're going to go ahead and say hail. And he's going to say, I am the scribe of Enrock. If you do not have business with me, then be gone. Okay. Say, whoa. I have business. Yeah. Say wine. Say red wine. Say, I got wine for you. <laughs> I'm going to say them wine. All right, I'm going to give them one first. If it doesn't give me anything, then I know I'm going to have to give them four. Okay, so that gave me experience. We'll go ahead and just hand them in one at a time. Uh, wow, that's so nice. So I am going to be now level two. Yay! <laughs> Let's see how well the the quest um, goes from here. Uh, not very good, but it is still experience and I bought the wine. I'm gonna use it, okay? <laughs> so, um, there we go. And pretty much what this is doing is giving you faction with uh, Nuriag. 
So you should be able to at least go past um, the guards without any issue. That doesn't affect anything else though. So I got um, uh, two and a half blues with that turn in. The, the quest degrades really fast. So I think around level two or actually I think it was three. I forget whenever I actually went and did the, the quest. But I, I believe I shouldn't have any issues if I go to the warrior guild. Maybe I should check my guild to see if anyone has quests for me that don't require me to go to Freeport. So, we'll go straight to the uh, the temple where everybody is, and um, and see what they have to say. So we'll go ahead and hail. Uh, welcome and hail of. Um, Welcome to the Hall of the Ebon Mask. You have best be a rogue. Say, I am a rogue. Okay. Eyes you up and down. I thought I might have a use for you. Um, I, I thought I might have a use for you. However, I believe you are too weak. To harm the honey man. <laughs> what? Honey man? <laughs> He's actually a she. And her name is... Little Honey Bugger. She makes the life-giving honey for the halflings. If you think you're up for it... Our king has placed a bounty on her head. He has empowered me to hire someone to teach little, uh, teach a little lesson. Okay, say, I will teach little a lesson. Excellent. Bring me her head as proof of the deed you uh, of the deed, and you shall receive the king's ransom. Ooh, a king's ransom is a nice uh, bound of bunny, but I know nothing of the quest. Maybe I should check that quest out. Um, let's go ahead and check this one. Hail. Okay. How's it going, scrub? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you appear to be a rogue. If you're a new rogue, it's my job to test your skills. If you are not, then by speaking with me, I see you show interest in joining this house of rogues. Say, I am a new rogue. New rogue. Okay, I am a new rogue. Ooh, okay. So it is okay. That's a long. Okay, we of the Ebon Mask must first be sure you are skilled with a blade. At the same time, we are attempting to create a new type of armor for our rogues so it's the test um it is the uh, the test of each young rogue to take this bag into nectalus and fill it with three mobs uh moss snake skins three snake fangs then combine them uh we uh we get the bag okay wait we get the bag and you earn a little respect as well as a dark shield of... Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'm not even going to ask about that. Snake... Uh, moss snakes, right? Snake skins and um, fangs. That should be easy enough. We should be able to do that. 
I'm going to leave with that and uh, I'm going to go ahead and head back outside and see what we can do as far as get these snakes going. So I will see you in a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and sold the spear um, because I was finding that just using my dagger is a whole lot easier. It's faster. It's a faster weapon, though the damage isn't better. It just seems to kill a whole lot faster and is the way to go. Now, I would like to loot a dagger, just a regular dagger, and I think I can get the dagger to... Um, three damage 22 delay or less because it currently is 23 delay for um for oh, 24 delay i know i'll go down to 22 delay if i get a regular dagger and tarnish it now was it just snake skills or is there a moss skin i can't remember what the quest said it's um so i'm gonna just kill until i get fangs and if somewhere in there is um is a moss skin then i know that that's what they were wanting because it's six slots and wants three fangs i haven't found any on these guys yet okay um i'm gonna just i guess i'll take everything um hmm kind of annoying come on puppy dog give me a give me a hide give me a good hide a medium is or better would be great i think i can sell a medium for like five plot something like that then i or i could trade it for a black wolf skin no what Can these go into here? Okay. Really need to look at getting a backpack too, but that's so expensive. I didn't get a backpack on my guy until I was pretty far along um, on the very first toter that I made. Give me a fang, please. A fang would be nice. Yeah, the dagger is definitely the way to go. Thought I saw, yeah, there's one. There's the one behind there. Really? Nothing. Oh my goodness. I was hoping that because it was taking longer to kill that it would give me something. Come on. Give me the stuff. Again, I don't know if moss skins are a thing. If I fail, I guess the only thing I can do is just do it again. Really? Really? It's, is it this hard of a quest? I mean, it's making me kill a lot of things, I guess. Definitely getting more comfortable with piercing. Give me... Oh my goodness. Cannot be this hard to get an item from these guys. Give me a thing, please. Please. I should probably do some dumpster diving and see if I can find them there.
not a single freaking thing. I'm going to say that the skins are the skins that I've been getting. So I just need one more skin if we go based off of that. Just got to get out of that black wolf's uh, path there. Okay. Doing all right, I guess. I mean, another thing. Taking up a slot in that bag. I'm going to find myself having to um, stop and sell pretty often, it's looking like. Which is not a good thing. I kind of want to just keep killing, try to get to like level three or four today. Um, which would be nice. That way we can at least start advancing some. We have a level 8 now. We have a level 7. So people are definitely rising through the ranks uh, without having or without dying. Finding quests that are really good within their zones. Uh, I think the best start, and I really wish I would have not died, is in Kaladim because of all the great quests. Now, the Wood Elves would be great too because they're really close by. They can do the same quests and so on. Just one of those things that it's, it's really nice to get that that area. The whole Fa um, or Fadar, I guess you would call it, area. Okay, just keep going, guys. Just keep going. Just try to get get uh, more of these. I how many no no fangs no fangs yet. I have two skins. I'm just gonna go ahead and restack those. And I'm gonna pretty much end up slaughtering this whole um, place of of snakes. But it ends up in an item, so it's definitely well worth doing the quest. Just really wish it wasn't so rare to get items off of these guys. Alright, we are back guys. So I've been killing for a while, uh, just trying to get to the point where I can get... Oh my goodness. Come on, man. Oh, it's a shadow wolf. It's not a black wolf. It's a shadow wolf. Oh my goodness, please no. Please no, please no, 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 no. Okay, sit, sit, sit. I have been knocked unconscious. I have been knocked unconscious. I have been knocked unconscious. <laughs> Yay. Come on, stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, come on. Hey, stop moving. <sighs> that was too close. Those wolves are annoying. How many times was I knocked unconscious there? One, two, three, four. I was knocked unconscious four times. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get some rest there. Man, I, those shadow wolves are the suck. Now, they're really nice whenever you get to around level 5 or 6. But at this level, they, they're not they're not fun. Alright, let me go ahead and get healed up. And we'll go back out and try to find those snakes. Alright, up and at them. Let's go ahead and get back out there. So, um... Ooh, skeleton right off the bat. Let's go ahead and grab him. Hey, buddy. Thank you. I I needed that. I I was getting kind of tired, and you slapped me in the face one one time, and now I, I feel awake as you glitch on, <laughs> on the log, the log of destiny. Oh, ship level. All right, got some money out of that. 
So I'm going to, uh, so uh, by the way, I looked up that quest for the snakes. And it would seem that they are, um, that it is the snake scales and also just snake fangs. So I'm just going to kill um, all of the moss snakes I can find. Uh, and so I can get the skins and, or the scales and the fangs. Now, I could probably go to town and, um, that's a shadow wolf. Okay, let's steer clear of that. Uh, go to town and see if people sold moss snakes, uh, skins and fangs, um, or just rather snake skins. Uh, scales and fangs but I kind of would like to earn the shield that you get and I wonder if it's repeatable because if it is that would be kind of nice as well um, but these moss uh, snakes are the worst they just do not seem to want to drop anything short sword so short sword sir short sword is that what you got let me hit you a few times. Let's uh, let's see. Mm, the metallic says that it might be a short sword, but it could be a bastard sword or a long sword because they all have the same graphic. <laughs> and it is a wait a minute. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? I thought I thought the bastard sword had a different graphic to it. Um, let's go ahead and take these. I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. And we'll go ahead and take that. That's six damage, but the delay is just absolutely insane. It's not anything I'd like to really mess with. Um, let's go ahead. Hey, buddy. Give me your fangs. Let me, let me touch your fangs. Come on. Let me touch them. Can I touch your fangs? I don't want your poison. Don't you poison me. I'll take your fangs. There you go. Fangs. Nothing. <laughs> I feel like that um, I'm getting into that kind of insanity when you've done something so many times without any result. But you still keep doing it. This one's got fangs. You better drop them <laughs> because you just poisoned me. Nothing. Wow, their drop rate is just so, so low. Okay. Shouldn't have a problem here. Um, the poison isn't going to be taking off my life. It's just going to prevent me. It's kind of like getting rabies, but for a short term. It's not the long term version of rabies. I should probably go sell, but um, I'm getting close to one stack of bone chips. Kind of want to get there and then go sell in East Commons if I can't get um, 10 plat. Ooh, you got a, you got a weapon thing. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and kill that. I really need a backpack. I really need a regular backpack. Because um, this pack that I have right now is just for small items. Alright. So it's time to go sell. Um, just because I can't. Uh, um. Uh. Oh. Okay. Um, eh, everything sells for something or okay, uh, yeah, let's do Shadow Wolf. No, 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 no. Did I not pick up that mace? Let's go ahead and drop that. Oh, come on, Wolf. Come on, Wolf. Come on, wolf. Not again. Not again. I'm pretty far away. 
pretty far away. These ones run a little bit faster than the regular wolves. No, please, no. Not yet. It's I'm too young. I'm too young to die. Okay, I'm running straight for the zone. So um, um, I've been out fighting for a little bit, kind of turned on uh, the recording for posterity's sake as uh, I'm being chased down by a shadow wolf. There we go. Got that last hit in on me. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for that.
so we're running. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to pay attention to what they're saying. Oh no! Please don't have died. That would suck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, one moment. So it does look like they did end up dying. That's kind of sad. Um, but at the end of every month, we will remember those who have fallen by having a guild event. And we'll be giving out gifts to uh, the person who is the highest level in the guild. We'll also have randoms for other items. And then uh, give out certain items to other people. Things that would help them on a permadeath character that isn't considered power leveling or anything along those lines. The winner, of course, uh, of the highest level character in the guild ends up getting a thousand plot. Uh, or they can actually get a gate potion which is uh which is pretty cool um hoping to be able to get a character within the runnings <laughs> if i don't uh if i don't die of course i keep putting myself in those situations where i'm going out and getting myself killed and it's not on purpose um kind of should have known what thank you for just passing me black bear thank you for not noticing me um uh yeah, in the last video, I should have known that I shouldn't have gone and uh, gone to fill the bone. That was a bad idea, but it was also compounded by the, uh, yeah, let's do that, uh, by AZ Gamer. So, um, oh my goodness, we finished the quest. Let me go ahead and put that there. And um, let me go ahead and kill this guy. We're going to go turn in that quest, guys. Oh my goodness, we finally completed it. We're going to get a shield of the Ebon Mask. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's going to be something pretty cool and nice and awesome. I can't believe we finally <laughs> finished that quest. Oh, snakes, I'm done with them. I'm not even going to do the quest again if it's repeatable. It's just too much of a pain, but I am going to get that bag again. I mean, it's a free, it's a free backpack. Uh, that only holds small items, but still, you have a lot of small items that you end up getting. Um, I think I can go ahead and combine it now. Combine. Okay, you may may not have any stacks. Oh. Okay. Let me go ahead and take these. Put them in here. We'll take that. And do that. Combine. We now have a bag of snake parts. Yes! Yes! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, the individual who gave me the quest and uh, get it turned in, guys. Finally. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and finish this quest, pick up more quests, as well as head to group with a guildy of mine. And... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully it'll be uh, pretty fun. Anyway, guys, I hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. <laughs>